<laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. So you guys know I'm struggle streaming. I just got on the screen. I'm just starting out. And now I finally got my first troll. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. love it. This guy, you know what they say, you know, if you don't have no haters, you're not popping. And I finally got my first one via California. Every time I post something about Biden or Trump, He's the first one to be yeah, hyperventilating. And he got to post these long posts. I'm going to tell you something, guys. I got a short attention span. If it's more than a paragraph, I'm not going to read it. All right. So just letting you know that. You got to be brief. Use uh, brevity when you're posting on my comment. Again, one or two sentences, I'll read it. But if you got these long, if you're doing copy and paste, Nah, I'm just going to overlook it. <laughs> but anyway, I got my first troll. And my goal is to get 100. So if I get 100 trolls per week, man, y'all going to make me feel all right. Okay, so y'all keep it coming. Now, to my troll. This is going to be a uh, conspiracy day. All right. I know I'm not supposed to talk about conspiracy on YouTube because they're going to give you, you know, little strikes here and there. So I'm going to try my best to say these things. I'm going to use some code words. So just follow along, okay? So my first conspiracy that I want to share with you guys is, um, how do you say, J6-16-2021. Right? There's evidence of it being a scam. There was no insurrection. Oh, shit, I can't say that word. Ah, well, I already said already. There was no insurrection. All right. It was all planned. Yes, there's proof of it. There's evidence of it. And now we have the latest evidence. All right. Let's take a look at this clip. See this guy here. Mr. Guy here was arrested for disorderly conduct during the uh, kerfuffle on J6. Okay. And now you see him giving daps to the police officer. They released the guy. They took him out of handcuffs. And he's high-fiving the Capitol Police. I thought he was under arrest. What are y'all talking about? What are y'all doing here? Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. Again, let's do this again. And the high-five. Okay. Can anybody explain that to me? Now, Mr. Troll there. I hope you're paying attention. When Mr. Trump have these big rallies, there's always a counter rally across the street. You have BLM, Black Lives Matter. They have the uh, Trantifa, Antifa, whatever you call them, across. They have the pink, uh, code pink people. There's always a thousand or so people protesting the rally that's going on inside. But on J6, there was none. There was no counter protest on that day. Wonder why. This rally, the Stop the Vote rally, was publicized. People know well, maybe two, three weeks well in advance about the rally that was going to be on the, on the Capitol. And then no Black Lives Matter showed up. No Trantifa. No Antifa. And no Code Pink. We have love instead of hate. Oh, how I want to be in that number. 
and we have love instead of hate. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But there was a lot of undercover feds in there causing ruckus, causing trouble. I thought you said that there were FBI agents in the crowd at J6. There are. There always are when there's a big protest in D.C. Just in case it gets out of hand like that. They, but there, they wasn't, there, there wasn't enough to turn that tide. I mean, I'm talking they needed to have 20. You needed 1,000 to get rid of that crowd. So they had like, tw oh, that was only just 20? Yeah, just to go through and observe and see what they could hear, you know, that kind of thing. Wow. But yeah, definitely, they needed a thousand at least. Wow. Well, see, that's also Capitol Police jurisdiction. They're in charge. So that, Why yeah. they didn't have more on hand, I don't know. The Bureau didn't really want people knowing that they were in the crowd. Because mm -hmm. that would be overstepping their bounds. A little bit. Do people know that? Do Why? Did people know that the hero was in the crowd? No, nope, and probably never will. Uh, you know agents that were there? Mm hmm Really? Mm -hmm. The agency you knew. They have this guy here who was let free, but they will arrest an old lady who was happened to pray at the Capitol. My own country is treating me like a criminal. It's because I believe that my, they stole my the rightful president and just standing up for my country it makes me a criminal and it's just not right it feels so weird to be here <laughs> three over three years ago i was here this lady here is under arrest or she's going to be under arrest soon this is a grandma and y'all label her a terrorist yeah the optics doesn't look good Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next conspiracy. All right, Mr. Tro. Now, do you remember 2019 during the, <coughs> during the, that virus, right? Now, they made us, they made y'all go and line up and get your shot, right? We had some dissenters, dissenters out here, like Aaron Rodgers and Joe Rogan, who was, talking about a horse pace. Remember the horse pace? One of those drugs he mentioned, ivermectin, is something more often used to deworm horses. When you have a horse deworming medication that's discouraged by the government, that actually causes some people in this crazed environment we're in to actually want to try it. I have to sue CNN. I don't know. I don't know, do you? They're making shit up. They keep saying I'm taking horse dewormer. I literally got it from a doctor. It's an American company. Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, it, they won the Nobel Prize in 2015 for use in human beings. Yeah. And CNN is saying I'm taking horse dewormer. Yeah. What? So what they must know that the, that's a lie. Well, there's a lot of people saying it. <laughs> right, but a lot of people can say it. Okay. Yeah. Like the internet says it. Who cares? Sure. But, but well, CNN well, is well. saying it. Remember that? Y'all made a big stink about it. Y'all clown people about it. Y'all say it's not science. It's not science. It's horse pace. Yeah. Now. Here we have the FDA issue an apology. They lost a lawsuit to this doctor out of out of Texas who sued the FDA and the FDA lost the lawsuit and issued an apology. Let's go. The FDA has agreed to remove and stop reposting several social media messages suggesting ivermectin, a drug some doctors use to treat COVID, is intended for animals and not humans. Yeah. So I hope all you liberals, especially my troll over here, I hope you lined up in California. I hope you got two shots and 10 boosters. Okay, I hope you feel good. I hope all you liberals lined up and got all your shots, okay? We have this guy here who have the world record of how many booster shots given to a man. I think he got a shot every day for a year, over 200 shots. A German man has puzzled scientists after he deliberately got more than 200 COVID-19 vaccinations. 217 to be exact over two and a half years that's a shot every four days roughly i hope all of you guys have done the same thing okay because again trust your government 
the same government that Biden says do not trust the shot because Trump was in, in, in office. And as soon Biden gets in office, he said, yeah, the, the shot is good. Yeah. I hope all you liberals lined up and took the shot, took the jab. And I hope you feel better. Okay. We have uh, uh, the great Rush Limbaugh said this back then. 2% of the people who get the coronavirus die. That's less than the flu, folks. That is a far lower death statistic than any form of influenza, which is an annual thing that everybody gets shots for. It was a flu. And everybody came after him because he labeled it as a flu. Now you got the CDC saying, okay, guys, it's a flu. Treat it as a flu. <laughs> We've been saying that since day one. No, they want you to put diapers on your face. No. And walk around and, and, and pit people against each other. As we're sitting in the house, they reset the whole world right under us. Okay, Mr. Conspiracy. It's a conspiracy, right? So, Mr. Troll. What? I can't wait to hear your response. And as always, you can leave a comment. All right. But keep it under one or two paragraphs. Again, if you have a whole co copy and paste, because I know you can't think on your own, you have to go and Google copy a paste and put a, a response on my on my thread here i'm just gonna just overlook it okay that's my thoughts for the day if you guys got any value out of my content do me a favor hit the like hit that subscribe you see that notification bell turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest share this content with your best friends and tell your mama i said hi <laughs> you go girl all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get off my lawn.